What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am just Jen. That's me. Uh, so I've been listening and 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 looking at your comments, uh, reading your suggestions, and so many of you guys have been asking me to do this video, and I've taken a little bit of time for me and my kids, and it has been absolutely remarkable. I, I can't thank you guys enough for being so patient with me and uh, giving me such amazing feedback and suggestions. Uh, the first time here, though, you got to do me a solid favor. Please hit that subscribe button next to it. You know it's a notification bell. Tap the all button so you're notified when I'm live or I drop a new video like this one. Speaking of likes, y'all, smash that like button for me for BTS. Get me in the algorithm. Also, leave your comments, your suggestions down in the comments. Uh, my loyal Patreons above my head, thank you guys so much. Thank you to all the new ones. You guys rock. If you're interested in joining my Patreon and supporting the channel, the link will be in the description. Okay, so... What is she doing today? BTS, MTV Unplugged, Blue and Gray. So many of you guys have requested this, therefore, I'm doing it. All right, you guys, thank you for being so patient. Like I said before, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I just had to take a couple of days off. All right, guys, nothing further from me. First time seeing this one. <laughs> I think we have all been there at one point in our life. We kind of have to put this this facade on and be happy and positive and smiley when deep down inside we know that it's killing us that we are not. Yeah. And you kind of want somebody to be your, your angel and come save you from that. What happens if you don't have that angel? What happens when you look in the mirror and you are that angel, but you just don't recognize it yet? Sometimes we can't even save us from ourselves. Yeah. Life happens, though, you guys. Life does happen. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, oh man, the I'm going to let you in on a little secret of mine. It's not a secret, but my past as a child, I went through some horrific stuff when I was a kid. I was sexually abused when I was five years old. And I, I always questioned myself, why me? Why me? I had anxiety and PTSD from a very young age. I still suffer with it today, and it's been a long time since that's happened. And you think about it, and it's like, wow, who would want to hurt a little kid like that? Like, And it's kind of sad seeing them sing about this because it's like I feel like I'm not the only one going through something like that, stress and anxiety and regretting a lot of things that I've done in my life. But if, it's also like the camaraderie of I'm not alone. But you still don't want other people to hurt like that. You know what I mean? You don't want to. You don't want to be in a crowd of people that have, have been hurt over and over and over again in their life. And I wish I could say that that uh, pain and anguish and abuse stopped when I was five years old. It didn't. I had a good childhood from then on until my late teens. And then I met a very abusive man and was with him for seven years, and I endured a lot, a lot, physical, sexual, emotional, 
verbal, every spectrum of abuse. And you're, st- I still, I, f- I revert back to a little girl. It's like, why me? And then you think that would be it. No. No. I suffered some more in my life. And then I'm still questioning, why me? But then you're made fun of for that and called the little victim. If you endure a bunch of stuff and abuse and people call you a toxic person when you've done nothing wrong to anybody, you don't lie, you don't cheat. You fight back and you're toxic. Hmm, makes a lot of sense, right? No, it's just that I figured out who people really are. And I don't stand for that crap anymore. And I deserve to be treated in well, and so do you. So don't you ever sit there and believe that you don't deserve to be treated better if you're in a situation that needs to be, right? Healthy boundaries. I just want to be happier right here. I just want to be happier. You know, I have to I have to go back and reflect on what they all just said. Like I'm standing here, I just want to be happier. I feel so alone. Don't leave me alone though. You know, there's nothing worse than the fear of abandonment and rejection, especially when you never treat people the way that they've treated you. And and best believe, best believe it, it's almost like you would rather be abused than left alone. But here's where the silver lining is. You will realize, you will come to realize that you did not deserve that whatsoever and that you just want to be happier. And guess what? Being alone is so much better than being with a person like that. Yeah, I'm going to rewind this a little bit, man, because I just have to see it again. I want everybody to know this. If you are not happy, if you are suffering with depression, anxiety, any kind of mental anguish, I really do encourage you to go get that help that you so desperately need. Reach out to a friend if you can't afford to go to uh, to a doctor um, or a clinician in any way. Um, there are resources everywhere. If you do, though, um, I strongly suggest if not if just reaching out to a friend is not enough, then you go above and beyond to find that help that you so desperately need because depression is real. It's a very real thing. 
And it's sad. It saddens me because I think that you guys said that this was about suicide and uh, so many people killing themselves. Uh, I love BTS for this reason right here. They are so, like, they're advocates for the good in life. And for the people that don't have voices, they give they give everybody that voice. And they actually care. You can see how much they care. And I really do wish this world was full of people, more people that cared about one another. We have to realize, though, also, that there are going to be people in your life that do not care. They will show no signs of remorse. They do not feel guilty about what they've done to you. Yeah. This is beautiful that they care so much to write such a beautiful song. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Amazing. I think that was absolutely phenomenal that they did that song as advocates. Uh, listen, we feel you. We know how depressing life can get. I strongly urge you again to reach out to somebody if you are feeling hopeless and helpless. And know that, hey, today might be a crappy day, but tomorrow is a diff it could be a different day. So never give up. It wasn't that beautiful. Look at the, the, just how beautifully they can sing and their voices are just so perfect. Yeah, amazing. Thank you guys for suggesting that. That was BTS Blue and Gray. What great advocates they are. Yeah, you guys, I am just Jen. I am an emotional mess right now. <laughs> wow. I don't tell you guys stuff to make you feel sorry for me. I tell you guys stuff to get it off of my chest and out into the universe. You have my secrets now. Do, of, do with them as you, as you may. Take them. They're yours. But I'm, I'm telling you this because I have a platform to do so. Hopefully I can help one person out there. Maybe more. I don't know. But what I do know, if you're a good person... You don't deserve to be treated poorly. You don't. But there are predators out there, you guys. And that's a fact. And if you, listen, everybody has their bouts of bad days and depression. It's how we choose to deal with it. When people come at me in any way that is not loving, I'm going to get I'm going to get brutal. I'm going to get savage on them. That's just how I deal with things because I don't put up with crap anymore. I was a doormat for so many years, and now I'm not. Absolutely not. I will draw those lines. They are boundaries. They are healthy boundaries that you do not cross. This is my safe space. Do not invade it. This is my boundary. Do not cross it. And if you do, I'm going to call you out on it, call you out on your BS. 
or I'm just going to shut that door and you're not going to be in my life no more, right? You guys, take care of yourselves, take care of one another, be good, be kind, be happy. But it's okay to be sad once in a while too and angry. We have all kinds of emotions. We're allowed to have those. You're allowed to have a voice. Speak out, speak up if you have something on your minds. Don't let anybody silence you because you're important. I hope you know that. All right, you guys, take care.